Hey, Yusi, how you doing? Hey, I'm fine, thanks. So um, we saw uh, Supercritical, the Redshift was the synth that everybody told us we needed to see <laughs> at Superbooth. And again, we're here at uh, Bristronica. How's yep. it going? What's, what's been happening? Uh, yeah, lots of people interested in it. Uh, yeah, good vibes. We have been d developing it further. It's in production now. Should be Ah, OK. Yeah. So people will be able to buy it, right? Soon, hopefully next month. Oh, OK, yeah. right. So just take us through a refresher of the structure and some of the, the cool new things you've added, right? Yeah. So just to remind people, it's a six-voice analog poly. We have two Eurorack modules, uh, a DCO module and a filter module. And we basically took the tech from those two and put them in a poly synth desktop box. Uh, so there's six. Uh, physical voices, uh, fully analog single path except for the effects. Uh, but since it's digitally controlled, we can have up to 16 oscillators per physical voice. Uh, that's kind of our party trick. Right, OK, yeah. 16 per voice. And is, yeah. that, is that cloning? Are they individually tunable, or is it more like the sort of cloning? No, they're fully independent. So you can use them for stacking, like super sound sounds, uh, paraphony, yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, like even individual envelopes. Let's. Well, we better listen. To, what's, yeah, yeah. What's your best patch, you, you see? Well, there's a patch called 96 source on the wall, which might say everything. Uh, so it's a unison patch with all the so source. And uh, I'll just play it now. Yeah, there's a lot of saws there, aren't there? Yeah. All that, of them. So that's all of them on a single voice, right? Yeah. A, sing, a single note, rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so massive unison stack. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. But sure. Yeah. I always like to hear when there's a good unison. It's good to hear them all together. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. and and um, presumably there's you know you've got obviously more polyphony available. So up to six voices, right? So six yeah. voices, sixteen. That's ooh, three three oscillators. So wait, hold on. How many oscillators is that per voice? Uh, 16. 16. Per voice. Oh, OK. So that was that 16 times 6 oscillators. Yeah, so 90, 96 oscillators. Oh, right. Of course it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My yeah. math is, <laughs> I've got a show brain. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Me show too. Me, show me some more. Let's have a another listen. So yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, oops. Here's something a bit more classic, like analog times, EP type sounds. Then um, oops, some uh, Moog-ish bass sounds. Uh, What's the filter topography in it? Um, it's a custom OTA-based design, so we can uh, actually we have this character knob which changes the filter topology on the fly. So this is a Moog-ish uh, topology. This is like a MS20 tile style topology, 303, and here are uh, ah. some more like a Roland-ish. Like ob obviously, it's, they are not emulations or modeling because it's fully analog, but they are kind of going in that direction. So yeah. you're sort of rec so is it FPGA or something? Because it, no, no, it's fully analog. But uh, basically, we have a lot of control voltages in the filter. Ah, so you can sort of reconfigure on the fly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you're messing with the gain structure and all yeah, that. Yeah, kind exactly, of thing. exactly. Oh, interesting. And yeah, it changes the gain staging, the tuning stability, stuff like that. Yeah, well, let's yeah. have some more sounds. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some pads. <laughs> And there's stereo going on there. Is that stereo in the voice or stereo in the effects that we are hearing? Uh, in the voice. So that's um, uh, using unison to spread the voices. Right, OK. Yeah. There's, uh, we have a format filter in development. It's not quite perfect yet, but uh, we have this voice that sounds. This is quite loud. What happens if we sweep that? Can we have a listen to the sweep of that filter just while it's... Yeah, of course. Uh, let's have a more basic sound for that. For example, this one. And that's fully resonant as well, right? Yeah, of course. 
And if we change the character, then the uh, resonance changes quite a bit. Yeah, that sounds... Interesting. So, what 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 other stuff we got going on? LFOs, envelopes, that kind of thing. What's what's? Yeah, uh, four envelopes, four LFOs per voice. Uh, we have a lot of modulation sources here. Uh, we have we are using this basic uh, modern technique of like you press the source and then turn it up to assign modulation. Right. Okay. Like very easy. It's a yep. it's quite a unique UI. Where where did where did you kind of come up with that one? What's the sort of inspiration for that? Uh, we actually work with Paper Noise, who is probably most famous for the mutual mutable instrument panels. Ah, okay. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Yeah. So we used a real designer for that. A real designer. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, let's have a couple more sounds. Um, does it do? What's it? What's it like on the base? Uh, oh, actually, that's the. Other yeah. Thing. Is it multi timbral at all, or is it? Uh, not yet. It's going to be there. So the voice buttons are going to be used to uh, change the time timbers. Ah, okay. There's going to be six parts. There's six outputs, so you can uh, assign each part to a different output if you want. Right, so you yep. and then there's some complex module as a modulation matrix as well, or is it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. Like we have, I think, 64 slots at the moment, but oh, that's wow, not okay. necessarily final. But yeah, that sounds like enough. Yeah, should be enough. Yeah. Basic unison bass. Yeah, that's got some thunder on it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else do I have? I so you're saying yep. those stereo unison? Does that mean are the filter stereo as well, or is it? Uh, is no, the uh, filter is mono. The uh, panning is after that. Per so voice, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. So right. if you want to spread, you have to use uh, more than one voice. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. understand. Uh, but we have some cool tricks. Like the I did this like uh, yesterday. That's loud. So is that an arpeggiator or triggering envelopes? No, we have. Uh, we can since. The oscillators are digitally controlled. We can also control their phase. So it's um, use that patch is using an LFO to sync the oscillators, like every now and then. So it kind of makes these attack type sounds. Right. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So let's have a couple more, and then uh, you can tell me how much it's going to be and when. Yep. There was um, forever pad. And is it a, a yep. respond to polyphonic aftertouch? What sort yep. of input could so? Yeah, so channel and poly aftertouch. It's going to be MPE compatible. Uh, yeah, all the stuff. All the like good. All, all, all the modern stuff. All <laughs> the modern stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, ins and outs. We've got. Uh, oh, we've got. So you could do three sets of outputs. That's yep. interesting. So yep. that's for when it is multi timbral presumably, right? Or do you have effects out? I mean, how, what what are they used for at the moment? The aux. Uh, right now, they are not used to, for anything. But uh, you can use them for the uh, different parts later, like when that's done. Okay. Like it, it should be done for launch. So, uh, speaking of launch, you said what a month and a half or so, two couple of months. What's what's yeah, where like for? the first batch is currently in production with our manufacturer, uh, and we are still finalizing the firmware. So, <laughs> oh wow, that was exciting! Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so it should be sent to stores next month, hopefully. Oh right, so quite yeah. soon. So, what's the what's the price are you aiming at? Uh, in UK pounds, it's uh, ten ninety nine. In euros, it's twelve fifty nine. I think, yeah. Okay, so that's not bad for a decent sized desktop. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.